So many times we've used Excel in our classroom for many different reasons of organizing data and things of that nature. With Office 365, they have a feature with Excel called an Excel survey that can really take our class to the next level. When given something that says, this, this particular standard for high school says represent data with plots, et cetera, et cetera. Whenever I hear that, that word data, I always, always, always think of one real way we could engage kids is to let them play with the data that they create, data that they have went out there and found and created of their own that would bring it real world to them. Typically, sometimes we just give them data and those numbers mean, any, mean nothing. But what if we were to set up some type of scenario and give them a quick fact or whatever, uh, 18 to 24 year olds send 2,000, a little more um, text messages per month, then we could ask them questions that would be relevant to them. Uh, basically, how many do they on average send a day? Uh, which grade levels send the most? boys and girls, et cetera, and many different questions that we could ask. Um, that's where Microsoft Excel survey comes into play. When looking at your OneDrive, when you get into your OneDrive, you can click Add New, and then you see the features Excel Workbook, Excel Survey. We're going to look at this Excel Survey. The kids would then click on Excel Survey. They would name their document, whatever they'd like to name it. We could name it Tech message and then you click OK and it builds that file for you in your OneDrive and then you start titling your survey you're gonna title this the kids might title it texting survey then they would say please please fill this out to help me get an A in math. They can put whatever they'd like to there as a description of what they'd like to do. The very first question might be what the person, whoever's filling it out's name is, but for this it could be an anonymous survey. So we'll go straight into one of the questions that they might ask would be what grade are you in and we're going to ask that question and for this we're going to make it a multiple choice question so for choice questions it comes up choice a b c you're going to do ninth tenth hit enter that makes a new choice 11th and 12. we're going to require this question so we're going to put a little check mark here in the re required box and then we're done we're ready for the next question to add a new question you would, the kid would click here, go up here, and type in the next question. The next question would be, how many text messages do you send a day? Okay, and then this question right here is going to be a number question. We want them to answer in just numbers. We're going to require this question and done. I could carry on and on and on with the different types of questions. Are you a male or a female? And so on, many different questions. But for the sake of this video, I think you get the point. The kids, once they're done with their survey, they can click Save and View. After they save and view it, da -da -da -da, wait on it. And we're saving and view it. Notice what it, what an Excel survey does. It creates an Excel document in the background with your questions in it. So as the students that they send this out to fill this survey out and click the submit button, notice right here how it's going to auto populate that data for the student. So they click submit and it populates it there. So the way that the kids would get information in here is to send out the link to this survey here and you get that link right there by clicking share survey and up pops a link you're going to right click on it and copy it the student would then ask you to post it into your uh, onto your web page or they would then post it into Edmodo or any kind of learning management system you may have set up maybe even your OneNote notebook the kids 
um, from your classes or other classes or, or the school could then click on that link and go in and fill that data. Then the kids could answer those real world questions with information and data that's relevant to them that they collected and that makes sense to them. Thank you and have a really nice day.